Einstein and Whitman walked into a bar. <laughs> Tell me what you see, the bartender said. The world is made of math. The world is made of words. So are physics and poetry divergent? Like the darkness of empty space running away from the brightness of the hot sun? What if I told you that physics and poetry are but different branches of the same tree? Curiosity. Who are we? We are pioneers, trailblazers, explorers. We seek what we cannot see. We shine light into dark. This is our nature. Our present, you see, would not be but for our past. In the spider web of infinite past histories, our reality is a consequence of our curiosity, of our need to cross the ocean on a pile of feeble wood, but we're thirst to make the unknown known. And our future, when we have to leave our home, when Earth is but a dead blue dot, our survival will hinge on our ability to remember, on our instinct to explore. And physicists, we are explorers, even though sometimes we can't see what we study, almost unimaginable, literal light years away. Like, like when two neutron stars collide and give birth to a black hole. When Einstein, white-haired and wild-eyed, exclaimed, light produces electricity, was he thinking of a solar cell or an electric car? No, but Einstein's curiosity would later and today illuminate the path. And poets, poets are explorers too. They dive into a black hole just to pull out a single ray of insight. When Whitman, bearded rebel, pronounced, and verse will be free, he too was searching, seeking a new way of thinking, preventing poetry from stumbling on its tired old feet, replacing poetry with a fluid, a fluid that could finally flow. And passion, what drives us? We express for the sake of expressing. We paint, we draw, we write, we transform. Creation is passion. And physicists, well, we are driven by it. To boldly go where no man has gone before. Even when the man tells you to go get a real job. Even when you know your work may sink unnoticed into the dark pit of oblivion. Like Boltzmann or Keats, atoms and romance, without them, no Einstein, no Whitman. And poetry? Poetry is passion in the nude. Whitman boldly explored the human soul and its body, electric. His life, his thoughts, laid naked in verse. His critics cried obscene, yet he did not hear because he was nursing soldiers. Poetry makes the ordinary extraordinary. It, it heightens life and it makes death tolerable. I saw this with my own two eyes. I saw our students turn into poets, warriors, fighting against their own fears, fighting, fighting against preconceptions, fighting against life itself, as one of us fell into the good night and gently, and we continue to fall with you. And finally, hope. You know, Einstein was wrong many, 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 many more times than he was right. I imagine him an atlas, hunched over his desk, a burning stare at his math, searching for his mistake, holding the weight of knowing he's so close. Hope saves. 
I imagine Whitman surviving as a teacher, as a typesetter, as an editor, crying over rotten grass and turning leaves, hoping that the blindfold will fall, that people will see hope liberates. And you see, physicists and poets are sometimes fueled by hope. They, we, believe, can ignite reality, vaporize it, condense it, and purify it until it becomes tangible. We put words and atoms under a microscope. We accelerate ideas and collide them just to see what interesting debris results. We dream that our words spoken will trigger a chain of change, will spark the fuse that will detonate that overdue revolution of knowledge, and it will not be televised or tweeted. <laughs> so explore. Dive into the unknown waters of the interior and the exterior universes. Descend into the infinite pit of the unknown and question its very existence. Do it if you're curious. And persevere. Shatter those walls of ignorance. Let knowledge feed progress. Plow through the pain of birthing a new idea just simply because that's your passion. And aspire. Revel in the joys of the human potential. Believe that the truth is out there in reach. Know that knowledge is going to come. And that's hope. So now, you tell me, what does physics have to do with poetry? Thank you.